How you doing, folks? Today, I'd like to provide something I discovered. Uh, it occurred because of something that happened to me. Uh, and that was a few weeks ago when <clears throat> it sprinkled for 15 minutes in the town we live in. And I thought I would be good to go uh, to a place that was two hours away. And when we traveled all the way there, obviously they had about four to six inches of rain. And it was completely flooded. And uh, I was talking to a buddy about it. You know, we just, it was so bad we had to turn around and go back home. So I was talking to a buddy about it that following day. I said, boy, it sure would be nice if I could look at the the weather from the, you know, the past month in a certain town or whatever. And he said, there is. And I had no idea about it. And so he gave it to me. And I'm going to tell you guys what, this this is a very, an, an amazing tool. It's called localconditions.com. And what this allows you to do is look at the past weather for the past 30 days. So if you are a type of fisherman that likes to go travel, and even if it's just an hour away or two hours or whatever, you may not know what it did there that whole week, even though it was fine in your town where you're at and you didn't receive any rain. You want to be able to look and see how much it rained each day in that particular area that way you don't have any surprises like we did and, and travel all the way there and then it just backfires on you it's a very helpful tool especially when you're traveling to a different state or something like that you want to know what it did for the last seven to ten days there how much rain has accumulated that way you have a clue what you're up against or if it's even worth going at all all right i'm going to turn the camera on to show you guys what we're up against here and i'm going to show you how to use this program it is called localconditions.com. Right there it is. What you want to do at that point is you then want to click right here on the left side. It says U.S. Weather and Traffic at the top on the home side. You click on U.S. Weather and Traffic. It then takes your page. And on this page, is U.S. City local weather five-day forecast and traffic but what you want to do is you go down it's got the states in alphabetical order I live in Missouri so I'm gonna pick Missouri so you want to pick the state you live in it, there, it shows you I'm in a list there so you then want to go to that okay at that point you have to scroll down and what it does, it has a list of every city in that state. You can choose at that point to either scroll down and it has them all, or you can pick the specific letter that you want. I'm gonna pick the specific letter because it's just easier. And I'm gonna pick Perryville because I like to go there a lot. Perryville weather. Okay, at that point it's gonna take you to a page just focused on that particular city. Sorry about the slow web browsers. Things really slow when I got the camera going for some reason at the same time. Okay, it then has today's date, which is Wednesday, April 17th. But at the top here, you got current report, hour by hour, five day radar warnings, traffic conditions, and over on the very right side, it says past. You wanna click on that tab, it says past right there past and you click on past it's then going to another page which is taking forever of course okay then right here, last 30 days, and it says the name of the city. At that point, it shows for each day how much, exactly how much pre precipitation accumulated for that specific day, and it's still loading, so I do apologize. Okay, and this was just for today only, but 
let me remember how to get to the pat the this just shows it eats 24 hours for that specific day hour by hour okay but if you click right here where the date is you'll see a little orange reddish arrow right here where it says Wednesday April 17th if you click that it will then open up more days this is where you can go back for the past 30 days it will go all the way to March 17th see I'm scrolling down now I can look back there's no reason to look back 30 days the, the maximum for me is like really you only need to look back five to seven at the most but I'm just going to choose one of these because I'm going to show you one of the problems that does occur, occur when using this website. I'm going to look at Sunday, April 14th. And it didn't do it to me this time. But a lot of times when you click on these dates, it will take you to this page and it wants you to pay so much a month to use it. When that happens, just say, no, thanks, please return me to the past page. And sometimes it will do it two or three times. When that happens, just keep trying and it will eventually load this part right here okay it shows here that on Sunday April the 14th there was zero point seven three six inches of rain so under a tenth of an inch so what you want to do is click on each day and you add them up that gives you the determination is it worth going is it not worth going because if you got two or three days a row in a row of rain in a certain town, you probably don't want to go there. It may have not done nothing where you go, but if I if I all of a sudden want to go to Kentucky Lake, I want to know what it did there for the past week. So once again, guys, that's localconditions.com. Then I want to walk you through the steps one more time. A quick repeat of the processes. localconditions.com then you click on US weather and traffic then after that point it takes you to each state then you click on your state then you click on your town and then you go to the right and hit past weather and then you hit that red arrow on the date to, to open up other dates hope this was useful for you guys it sure will be used a lot by me in the future I can tell you that much Make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe.